What's going on guys, Easy Tech 231 here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys Cyanogen Mod 12, Android 5.0 Lollipop running on my Galaxy S5. So yeah, Cyanogen Mod 12, Android 5.0 Lollipop is running on my Galaxy S5. This is the T-Mobile variant. Now before I uh, get started um, in the ROM itself, let me go ahead and say just a few things. Number one, do not install this on, or do not attempt to install this on a phone that is not a Galaxy S5. Um, yeah, people have actually tried that. Um, I've had it happen where people have told me, oh, I tried installing this on my Samsung Galaxy Ace 2, and now my phone won't turn on. That's pretty much going to happen if you're installing this on a ROM, on a phone that is the incorrect phone. So make sure that if you're watching this video, make sure that you have a Galaxy S5 and you want to install this on your Galaxy S5. And number two, make sure that it's the correct Galaxy S5. Again, this is the T-Mobile Galaxy S5, so obviously the ROM works with that. I believe it also works with Sprint, but that's just about it. Um, as of this video, it's only compatible with those two uh, carriers. Um, so if you don't see your carrier or your, var um, your variant in the description below, do not attempt to install this. Again, in the future, this is CyanogenMod, Mod, so it will be updated constantly, and eventually AT&T, Verizon, other carriers will be supported as well. So, let's go ahead and get into the ROM, shall we? So yes, Android 5.0 Lollipop, stock pure Android, running on my Galaxy S5. And uh, this is actually really, really nice. Now, I really wanted to make a video to show you guys that, first off, let me just go ahead and say that this is daily driver material. I'm just, I could just really turn off the camera and just say it's daily driver material. You guys could go check it out for yourself. But of course you want to see what the ROM is all, what, it, what it's like, see how it runs and everything. So let's do just that. So the ROM, uh, oops, bump the camera there. The ROM actually works really well. It is daily driver material like I said before. Um, again, stock pure Android. I installed the Google Now Launcher. It actually comes with Launcher 3. Um, which is interesting, but yeah, just install the Google Now Launcher and you will get everything like you get on the Nexus 5, Nexus 6. Um, so the material design is in full effect, and uh, if you saw my Nexus 7 video, you know that I have been a I've, able I've been able to spend some time with the Lollipop itself, with the Nexus 7, and I really like it, and it's really nice on the phone as well, especially on newer hardware. This is um, a lot faster than the Nexus 7, um, but yeah, it's running really well. Um, everything works out of the box. I'm just do the little Easter egg here if it'll actually work. Yeah, sometimes you have to do it like three or four times. Let's see here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so this is the Easter egg here. You guys have probably seen this like a million times. I really stink at this. Um, I think the furthest I've ever gotten was probably seven on my, my Nexus 7. Wow. Um, so yeah, Nexus 7. Anyway, but everything works out of the box. LTE works flawlessly. Um, Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth works, NFC works, um, what else works? Everything, really. Um, the camera works. Everything out of the box, so to speak, really performs well. Um, battery life is, battery life is good, actually. It's really good. I would say it is better than TouchWiz, uh, battery on the Galaxy S5. Um, so, this is really daily driver material. If they were not to update this anymore then I would be satisfied. Um, so the only thing I'm, you know, not really upset, but it's something I miss about um, custom ROMs with this one at least is Exposed is not yet supported on Lollipop, but that has nothing to do with Sign Engine Mod. It just has to do with the fact that Exposed is not um, supported on Lollipop itself. So until that happens, this is just going to be okay, but that has nothing to do with the ROM itself. So the ROM itself is really, really nice, but if you're into Expose and Solar, you want to get all those modules and stuff, tweak out your phone, then don't really get Lollipop just yet. Um, I'm pretty sure there will be a time when you can get Expose and all the stuff that you could get before on Lollipop. But if you really want to experience um, stock, pure Android 5.0 Lollipop, and you want to experience well with pretty much little to no bugs at all, then by all means, download this ROM and check it out for yourself. Now, before you flash this on your ROM, make sure you make a backup just in case something, you know, goes wrong. I'm not saying it will, but if you if you follow the instructions in the description below, then you should be fine. But, you know, it's always, it's better to be safe than sorry. So, everything works. Everything works really well. I'm really enjoying 5.0 Lollipop. Um, so, I got rid, I disabled the Messenger, downloaded Google Messenger. Um, I got, I disabled the calendar, got Google Calendar. Um, I disabled the browser, got Chrome Beta, disabled the camera that came on it, and got Google Camera. So I'm pretty much running the full 
full on Google experience here on my Galaxy S5. So this is really, really nice. So like I said, if you guys really want that stock Android feel, you want the latest and greatest, go get this ROM right now. All right, so that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, also let me know what you guys think of this ROM if you have tried it out. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll be sure to you know, help you out if you have any problems or anything. So yeah, that about does it. Thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.